students from secondary schools across the Durham District School Board got an opportunity to hear how to turn their career path into a race as the Mazda Racing Accelerates Creative Education Program made a stop at Sinclair Secondary School. So here's your car, uh, or actually our race car, in the Durham colors there. The program's aimed at raising awareness about the many opportunities available in the STEM, science, technology, engineering and math fields. This is illustrated by the Mazda Motorsports team, including Mazda professional race car driver Joel Miller. I'm here to talk with you guys a little bit about technology uh, as part of our STEM program. I'm 26 years old, originally from Southern California. I now reside in Southern Florida where the race team is based. Students heard it isn't just the sciences most frequently associated with automotive racing that come into play for the Mazda Motorsports team. The most important message that I could send to them is never stop challenging. Um, that's something that as a race team we embody. Um, and also never stop learning. You can always learn something new. I mean, I've been in the sport now t over 20 years and I'm only 26 years old. Students were given a chance to ask questions which ranged from the highly technical to the highly practical. After the event, students said they found the presentation very valuable and reassuring given their interest in STEM. And I think that having a team like the Mazda team come in today and show you like the applications of like STEM and stuff was awesome because it would kind of show you that what you learn in school does have real uses, kind of like I already had seen with robotics, but I think it just opened it up to a more broad amount of people. Uh, just when they did, they had one slide where they showed all the different uh, careers that are in, like they said specifically with their aspect in uh, motorsports that involve the various aspects of STEM. Um, seeing things like uh, nutritionists and uh, paramedics, that kind of thing, uh, any sort of medical field actually does involve a lot of science, which I mean, is should be obvious, but you don't really think about it in that way. Because when you say STEM, the first thing I think of is when you have um, engineering involved and there's a, a lot of other stuff it's a very broad category and it kind of was kind of a moment of realization like wow it's actually way more open than I had first thought. 